so my owl crate showed up today. I'm pretty sure I already know what's in this. Um, <clears throat> this is actually the owl crate that I got for free or, well, I paid for shipping. Let's see here. Ugh. All right. So this theme was circus and here is the card for it. I'm not going to look at the card, of course. Let's see. So first we've got Le Cirque de Des Reves or something like that. Uh, this is Frost Beard Studios Book Lover Sewy Candles. So let's see what this smells like. I have still got a cold. It seems to be making its second round the house. So everybody is once again sick. Ooh. Ooh, I actually really like this one. Hmm. I guess this is Frostbeard Studio, or I guess it's Le Circus Days Reves, or however you pronounce that. That smells really good. Kind of smells like a gingerbready type thing, so there's that. I guess I should have left that other light on. All right. Ooh, I need a trash can. All right, so the next thing here is Attic Journals, Deck of Paper, Small Notepad made from Casino discards and 75 pages of quality paper all right so i'm actually going to open this here so apparently it is made from let's see this is spirit mountain casino there's that and it is a four four parts and five parts and it has paper in the middle of it that is so cool that is so neat that's nice that it doesn't get it doesn't get wasted this will go into my massive hoard of notebooks. See, an upcycled product of, Ac of Attica journals. That is so cool. Let's put that back in there. All right, let's see. Next is <clears throat> Oh my goodness. Oh, it's little tabs. Oh, this is cool. So this is page flags. And it's all like casino, the fair type, not casino, but like the fair circus type thing. And they're all, they're all individual. So they're, they're like little flags. Did you know to get the most stick out of the page flags is peel from the side, oh, from side to side instead of top to bottom. Enjoy. These I really like because I tend to use these in my um, paperback books as a bookmark because I don't have to worry that it's going to fall out because uh, the hardback books I tend to just use like the page flap um, hmm and it tends to stay in a lot better than like an actual bookmark does so that's pretty interesting uh, next is midway mini donuts and it is chapstick I don't really use chapstick I'm gonna open this I want to see what it smells like I'm sure one of the one of the children or the husband somebody Somebody will steal this in the house. Okay, let's see here. Whoo! Whoa, that smells like the candle. That's uh that is really strong. It's cinnamon donuts. So that's what that candle smells like. I think cinnamon donuts. Alright, next is uh the button for this month. Just a circus. I love that they're doing buttons now. I'm gonna have to put up another ribbon just for them. Alright, next, this is from Evie. What is it, Evie? Um, let me find it. This is from Evie Bookish, inspired by the Night Circus. I actually didn't like the Night Circus. I wish it would have been, aw, that's so pretty. I wish it would have been based on the actual book that we got this month, though. That would have been nicer. So here's the bag. It's a really thin tote bag. This is... This is really thin, like I can see through this. It's pretty though. It says, uh, the circus arrives. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I can't read that. Without warning, no announcements precede it. It is simply there when yesterday it was not. So there's that. All right, let's see. And it was the book that I thought it was. All right, so then here we've got the Frostbeards, or Frostbeard Studio Book Lover Sewy Candle. And then it gives you, uh, okay, so I guess the candle is Roasted Chestnuts, 
caramel corn bonfire that that's what it was inspired by <clears throat> and we've got a card from attic journal and it gives you like all the different um, information about how they recycle stuff that's so cool <clears throat> Now I'm getting this stuff all, packing stuff all over the place. And the book, of course, is Caravelle. Oh, it came with a book plate. Yes. This one, I almost DNF'd this because we had, I had this as an ARC and I almost DNF'd it. Um, and then I didn't, and I'm really excited that I didn't because it ended up being really, really good. So we've got Caravelle. Oh, I love this. It's so shiny. You can see that. Um, this, is, this was such a good book. Once you really get started, it does get really, really good. I do wish that the author would have given us a little more, little bit more world building than what she did with the actual world that they live in. Because uh, for the most part, you only get um, world building for the actual event of Caravel. So it was kind of disappointing, but... The rest of it was really good and the ending was just completely killer all right so this is oh my goodness oh is a sample download code start listening now oh i wonder if uh if it's the whole thing this i will more than likely do a giveaway for uh i don't do many um audiobooks and this is from book dropcards.com owl crate it has a code on it and it looks like it gives you Carvel and Star Touched Queen. So we got a signed book plate that'll be going in my book and then um, a little a little card here. This is so pretty. This is like a nice little square. You could probably frame this and it says uh, whatever you've heard about Carvel it doesn't compare to the reality. It's more than just a game or performance. It's the closest you'll ever find to magic in this world. Um, I'm really excited for the next book in the series. Um, because of the ending of this, I'm sure that she's going to expand on the actual world that they live in. Um, I'm really, really wondering where she's going to take it because with this being called Caravel, um, that is the only thing that this book centers around. It doesn't give you any type of, uh, really in-depth information about their world at large. You don't really get to know anything about their world, just like very, very, very little bits and pieces of it. Um, <clears throat> oh my goodness. So I'm really trying to figure out like where they're going to, where she's going to take it. Um, I don't, I think that this series is still, still untitled. So um, that's going to be interesting, but I, I think it would be kind of interesting for like the next book to be centered around something else specifically. Um, and then just give us little bits and pieces of the world at large um, during that time. So like, you know, this is Caraville, the next one they could be, I don't know, they could go somewhere else. So I think that'd be really, really, really interesting to do a series that way. Ooh, almost dropped the box. All right, and then of course we have the thing for next month. And then I'll give you my prediction. So next month's theme uh, for March is sailors, sailors, ships, and seas. Um, in the March box, you'll receive an item from a bo boy girl party. So that looks pretty interesting. Um, my prediction for the next book, uh, since this is kind of like uh, pirates and stuff, my prediction will be, um, hmm, was it a uh, daughter of the pirate king? Which I actually just looked at yesterday because somebody let me know that the next month was kind of like a pirates type thing, and uh, it's really good. I've only read like the first couple of chapters from it, but it is so good. It is definitely it's for older YA. Uh, and it is it's really really good the girl in it she's 17 and it starts out with her her ship being overrun by other pirates so definitely something to look forward to all right <clears throat> I really kind of I hope that this month or this year that they get to do more exclusive covers I really really love the white cover for um, heartless it was so pretty and it's really just kind of interesting to get those kinds of things <clears throat> oh my goodness Whew. this cold is really kicking my butt 
All right, well, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna toss all this stuff back in this box. And I hope to see you guys here soon. I will be doing a mail haul video at the end of this month. I've finally gotten it so that I have enough room on my shelf to wait that long. Uh, some of them I've actually already ended up reviewing and then just tossing it back on that shelf. Uh, so it's been a it's been a really good year so far. Toss all this stuff back in here. Do do do. Okay. The giveaway for this will be posting the beginning of next month for March, and it will be for that drop that drop card for those for those audiobooks and maybe some other stuff. I think I might start doing that completely. That uh, one thing out of every owl crate gets given away. Maybe if uh, things start going like they are, um, I will more than likely end up maybe giving away one gift subscription to an owl crate every single month. But we'll have to see. So I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you liked all the stuff that came in it. I know that I'm very excited to have this book in finished copy. It was so good. So good. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.